We really don't know what the impact of microplastics are for human beings yet. We know that it's been found in blood, it's been found in lungs. We know it's there, but we really don't know the impacts. My name is Carla McMullen, and I'm a master's student here at UBC in the Department of Oceans and Fisheries. My name is Juan Jose Alaba. I am the principal investigator of the Ocean Pollution Research Unit. Our goal is to understand the impact of global pollutants in the global oceans. My master's research is about microplastics in the Galapagos and specifically in the diet of the Galapagos penguin. It's absolutely adorable and quirky. You see it kind of fumbling its way out of the water, uh, but then when it's in the water, it's really in its elements. This little seabird can tell us something as the canary of the coal mine in the Galapagos Island to tell us oh, how healthy or what are the issues that are affecting the marine ecosystem as a top predator in the food web. The currents that come to the Galapagos, especially from the south, bring so much nutrients, um, but also that means any currents leading to the Galapagos can also bring plastics as well. So we start off with microplastics in the water column, and then the first step in the food web is zooplankton, and then the next step up um, fish stomachs, and then also in uh, the penguins fecal matter to see how much of those plastics that may be coming in through the diet are eliminated. Then I use what's called Raman spectroscopy. So I shine a tiny little laser on all of the plastics that I find um, and how that laser interacts with the plastic gives me a spectra. So I capture the spectra and then I can tell what the plastic is. So yeah, it is a little bit like being a plastics detective. Our global ocean is basically the only hope that we have today for human beings. And that represents basically subsistence for many coastal communities that are strongly reliant on traditional seafood. We really need to come together globally to create solutions for plastics and microplastics. Plastic will be with us forever, that's the truth. But if we start basically attacking the sources, I think we can reduce the plastic footprint in the global ocean.